Following the first Shia Jihad that just so happened to be against the Byzantine Empire for the Kingdom of Armenia, this woman, uh, Princess Semya of the Ukalid Shadam, became the ruler of all of the counties in the De Jure Kingdom of Armenia that were under control of the Byzantine Empire. And from what I'm going to guess, um, she has a claim on, so she does have a claim on the Ukalid Shadim, uh, which is actually her heir. Meaning that when she dies, and she's going to die without a kid because the one kid she did have died of cancer four years ago, uh, she's 49, can't have any more kids. The Shah, or the actual Shah of Armenia, is going to inherit her titles. She was Shia, but he is not. So, all that land that was just acquired for the Shia faith is going to be lost. Unless, in the time that I am still alive, or not alive, if I die before she does, my son inherits, he's the caliph, I can subjugate her. Then I believe her titles will go to him. And then he... Maybe he won't become my vassal. I'm not sure how that works. He probably just inherits them. No, he wouldn't become my vassal because he's not right now. But yeah, so... What happened was she was probably the only Shia character who had a claim on the Ukalid Shadam. You can actually probably check that. So here are all of the claimants. Um, this was her. There was a younger woman who had a claim that was also Shia. So she was the I'm not sure what deter what determined that it was given to her, but neither of them were landed. Neither of them were landed, so it sucks. We basically just waged war for the kingdom of, Ar of Armenia to get, grow stronger. But uh somebody is weak, and that's the Byzantine emperor. From having to wage two wars and He's just not looking too good, is he? He is married to the princess or the queen of Lombardy, but he has a son who is not uh, the uh, queen of Lombardy's son. So, with any luck, this won't end up like the Irish game where the Byzantine Empire controls both uh, the crown of uh, Byzantium and also Lombardy. That being said, even though we're not the Caliph because we did some things to force the jihads from happening, or to happen, which, I don't know. Even though she's the ruler there, I'm fine with it. The jihads are on. We can pretty much declare war on anyone we want with that, and all, uh, a lot of our vassals will come into that war once we actually become the Caliph again. And wait 30 years. But no. Uh, I have a lot of money. I don't know why I'm making so much. It, it's it been like that since I did the like conversion, uh, conversion trick. To basically make myself. Or again, that was part of the firing the jihads thing. He's defending against the... Third Umayyad for Holy War for Majorca still, and the other guy's winning. My vassal is winning. What's this? His war for Aragon. Oop, not that. So yeah, he holds the war goal. 
Uh, hopefully that war does end so that he will... Well, should I wait for it to end? Because if I go to war with the Byzantines, they will call in... Or, like, the defensive pact will be called in, and that's pretty much everyone. So my vassal will be at war with everyone. But Greece would be nice. I'm not at 95% threat anymore. That's a plus. I think I need to do two things. One, declare a holy war for Epirus. And then two, declare, a, declare the invasion of Constantinople. We're already in, our uh, retinue are already in a battle with the Byzantine forces. None of our vassals have negative opinions from having their troops raised too long, so we can do that. And I want to launch an invasion as well. Invasion of Greece. Let's get this done with. So this will be the third invasion of the Byzantine Empire. The third Abbasid invasion against the Byzantines. Oh, he's sieging down uh, Candia in uh, Crete. I think because that's our vassal, it will go to us. I might be wrong, but... I need to raise vassal levies. Again. I don't think Syria is ever going to have enough boats to carry all of them, all of his troops with his own boats. In fact, none of these guys seem to. Uh, Arabia does, or yeah, Arabia. Persia probably doesn't. Nope, just over. Thank God Anatolia does, though. Have everyone meet up in Sir. Um. Right, we're trying to kill somebody for the assassins. Um, he's a Catholic. The King of Sweden is Catholic. And all of his vassals are as well. Really? Somebody's been playing the Irish game. Scandinavia is mostly Christian. I am actually surprised that the AI did that. But... There was something I was looking at with that. What was it? Alright, I was killing somebody. If I remember from EU4, Usul is this island right here. And... He only has one vassal. It's this guy. So I wonder... Can I maybe... What I need is to send my spy master here and also my grand vizier to uh, so discontent. Continue raising people. We've apparently already raised the troops. Belonging to that guy, that's the Sultan of Arabia. So, yeah.
we'll bring our other vassals out from wherever they are to hopefully come to come over to this area so we can ferry them to where they need to go don't want them Kiva has a significant number I think but I think they're too far away really they have some ships oh this is the ships down here right generally I'm just going to have everyone meet up in the same place and then move them to wherever they're going I think I said sir originally and I don't want to be selecting my retina right now Sicily and whereas the invasion of Anatolia was the first sign of the fall of the Byzantines this will pretty much be the whole or the whole the nail in the coffin I think because just just not enough And let's not call them. Let's not even bring their troops over. And honestly, the Kingdom of Mali is probably not going to be a uh, major factor. Their troops are probably not going to be major factors in anything. So let's bring these guys up here. Get those guys. And... I think I'm going to use my retinue to go and start this war off. And in an odd twist of fate, I'm actually going to lead troops myself. Of course, if we die in battle, we take a two stability hit. That's not necessarily true, because it's not a U4. Uh, I'll split off half of these ships and take one army over. What? Go that way. Chase after the army. Then go into the capital. Where do I want these guys to go? I think I want these guys to go into the revolt revolting lands. He wants to marry my daughter. Shouldn't he have to pay a bride price? Thought merchant republics had to pay, pay bride prices for uh, noble women. Maybe that's only for Christian countries, but. Alright, these guys are fast. The Doge of Amalfi has usurped the title Grand City of Benevento. Huh. Alright. Okay. My wife is pregnant. Vassalovies have been raised too long. Of course they have. They will always be raised too long. We're going to take some attrition there, I think. And that is a lot of attrition to be taking. Let's 
split them in half again and put half on one and half on the other. I think these guys I want to go... half down here and half up to the Byzantine Revolt, the main part of the Byzantine Revolt. Assault and take tremendous losses for some reason. We'll offload our troops here, offload them in Naxos. Actually, gonna stop my retinue short of Constantinople. Never mind. Uh, maybe I might assault that. Yeah, let's do it. Suffering attrition here. That'll be eight days. This is five days. Lost some sieges. Let's assault here before we take too much attrition. That'll be two days. Assault there. Uh, not awesome. It's done. Move on to Euboea. And this one will be a couple days. You want out? No? Okay. Capture an air, maybe? No. Move on to Constantinople, where they have minimal defenders. We've got some uh, def uh, defensive pack people over here. I have another 12 stack coming in. I think they're primarily going to support that one for now. He wants out. He surrenders under those terms. Good. Done. I'm going to keep those guys there for now. Wow, I have a ton of gold. Grant these new counties to people real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and put them under this guy. Uh, 
the Sheik of Cephalonia. And Pyrrhus. In case you can't tell, this guy is also going to be the king of Greece. Once this war is over. We'll go ahead and assault Constantinople. Where are those reinforcements? They're on their way. We're at 71%. We have heresy in one of my counties. Okay. Uh, can these guys board that sh those ships right now? Yeah. Ooh, um, yeah, don't land there. Stay out there. You guys get on the ships. You guys go back up here. That's a lot of enemies, isn't it? Those look like uh, some easy takes. Is he at war with us or hostile to us? He's not hostile to us. Okay. Are there troops that I haven't brought over here yet? Oh. These guys are up here for no reason now. That was my mistake. When can I assault this one? Three days? We're at 96%. Do you want out? Please want out. It's being very slow. Still being very slow. This is what happens when you go to war with the world. Please, can we end this? Thank God. 
Really? He does want peace. That's over. Seriously, did we just win Greece? Watch, watch him say like, nah, we decided we don't want to do that. And they saw that coming, so they moved right in on that. We'll assault real quick. Four days. And Greece is ours. Abdul Qadir the Wise has declared the Drusian band invasion of Sicily on Empress Adelchiza of the Byzantine Empire. That doesn't look like. Oh. All right, she's the Empress, and apparently that's her. That's why. That becomes her primary title, I guess. Okay. So, all that land is ours. I need to revoke it from the heathens. I didn't let a day pass. I just lost like half of my army. Okay. So. We gained three holdings from that. Or four holdings. Um, I'm going to give Constantinople and Thrake to this guy. Directly. What was the other one? Ha! Huh, the uh, ecumenical patriarch is my vassal. I'm going to go ahead and grant him independence. Because I don't want him as my vassal. No, I should have kept him. I already have the Coptic Pope. Which, honestly, I don't think I want the Coptic, Co Coptic Pope uh, as my vassal either. Now that I think about it. Where is he? Do we not have the Coptic Pope? Search realm. Ruler, yes. Actually, reset that. Ruler, yes. Not my religion. Sort by rank. Apparently we don't have the Coptic Pope anymore. Did I already grant him independence? I don't remember doing that. But uh, I need to end this episode here. We just pretty much took out the Byzantine, the what's left of the Byzantine Empire. It's pretty much over for them. I say that, but every war we fight against them is going to have a coalition that we have, or a defensive pact we have to deal with. And there are still some counties in Greece we don't control fully. But, uh, we will deal with that when the time comes. I guess I'll remove myself from command. But, uh, in the next episode I need to go through revoking all of these, uh, orthodox characters from my land. And, uh, continue on with the 
expansion, I think. What all we do we have left? I need to conquer all the way up to here with the Byzantines. So. And most of what I need in the Italian peninsula is already mine. I take that back. It's about half, I think. And she's formed the Duchy of Mesopotamia. Don't want. She must be at peace. Who's at war with her? The con and uh, the Sultan of Anatolia. In the conquest war. I need, still need all of Rajasthan, or most of Rajasthan, and also most of Tartaria. But uh, again, I need to start revoking these this stuff. And place some properly Egyptian vassals there. <laughs> 